Hi, it's Seta here. One of the problems you might encounter when using HDRP is missing mask maps. A special texture that HDRP use for things like metal city, ambient occlusion and smoothness. You can create such a mask map manually in the graphic program or use Unity built-in material converter. But the first option is time consuming and the second one, well, sometimes it just don't work as expected. Luckily, Marie has created a very simple tool that lets you generate a mask map from a single base texture. What's more, I got permission to share it with you for free and you can download it from the link below the video. And now let me show you how it's work and for what we can use it. So let's get started. Imagine that you are just download the perfect terrain texture pack for your project. You open it, add it to your terrain and want to use height based blending. If you don't know what it is, here you can watch my tutorial about it. But then nothing works, because those terrain layers don't include the mask map. So now you are left with two options, manually create the mask map in Photoshop or give up on using those textures. And that's exactly where the HDRP mask map generator come to save the day. To launch it, go to the tools HDRP mask map generator. A new window will pop up where you can place your base texture. One click and the program does the rest. Now you can easily assign the mask map into the appropriate field in your terrain layers and enjoy the fully working texture. But that's not the only use case. Let's say that you download the asset designed for URP, but you want to use them in HDRP. You will find the materials, select them and go to Edit Rendering Materials, Convert Select Built-in Material to HDRP and yeah, it doesn't quite look right. Once again, you can use the Mask Map Generator, just open it, add your texture, generate a new mask map and replace the one in the material. Done. Now the asset looks much better and the mask map work correctly. As you are probably notice, the mask map generator can also create other textures that might be useful for you. The examples I provided show just how useful this tool can be and as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can download it for free from the link in the description. Also, don't forget to thank Marie in the comments for making this tool free for you. And until next time, see ya!